Hi guys, it's time for my February collective haul. Before I get into it, I kind of want to just mention that haul videos are a massive part of my channel and I feel like I want to scale them back a little bit. Over time, my channel has sort of become more about showing off all of the stuff that I've spent money on than content that has a purpose or that is beneficial to the goth community and stuff. And I've seen a lot of stuff recently of other people in the community, community, like slagging off some of the big YouTubers for showing off all their crap. And I don't think I'm a big YouTuber at all. I've got like six and a half thousand subscribers, but I kind of want to scale it back and I want to do more content driven videos instead of just showing off all of this crap. I'm still going to be doing my monthly hauls because I feel like you guys sort of enjoy them and I get some kind of interesting things um, with what I do, but unless I'm doing a haul video on something that's made by someone in the goth community or like a specific like jewellery company or stuff like that or if it's like a really cool piece of latex I'm gonna kind of stop doing hauls so yeah. With that being said let's move on to the haul. I got a decent amount of stuff this month, some kind of interesting things. I've got some latex, I've got some cool stuff so we'll just dive right in. I'm gonna literally pick up the first thing that is on the floor here and we're gonna talk about it. So the first thing I got is this full leather jacket from Dorothy Perkins. I do shop in regular shops sometimes, sometimes they have really nice stuff. I quite like H&M and everything, but I just happened to be in Dorothy Perkins and this was on sale and I saw it and I kind of wanted it. Um, it's got some cool stuff on the sides. And the reason I got this is because recently I've been modifying my other jacket. I'm going to be doing a full video on this once it's finished by the way and I'll be showing off stuff on this in just a sec. Um, but because I've been modifying that jacket, I kind of didn't have a plain full leather jacket that didn't have a whole bunch of crap on it. And as much as I love my really cool jacket, sometimes it's just a bit much. So now I have a nice plain one with nothing on it. Moving on to my crazy ass jacket, I got some really cool pins for it. I'm still not done. I'm waiting on a couple more pins. But I'll show you the ones I got this month. So basically these free metal ones are new. I have this Stranger Things one that says Pray For Will and I like it because it works on multiple levels. I've also got this uh, Death's Head Moth one because uh, everything to do with Hannibal and Silence of the Lambs is just my shit. And then I have this one that says Hellbound. I got all three of these on Etsy. I can't remember which one comes from which store because I got rid of the uh, bits of cardboard that they were attached to. But if you were to search it, say, for like 30 seconds, you'd find these really easily. So I've got some cool latex stuff to show you guys, but first I'm going to do my little bucket full of things. Save the best till last. This month I bought a couple more sets of lingerie to shoot in. I recently did a shoot a couple of days ago shooting in some of the stuff from, I think, December. So it is getting shot and it's just taking a while. I've not done as many lingerie shoots as I had hoped to do. But now that the weather's getting warmer, hopefully I'll do more. Oh, before I start, all of this lingerie is from Primark because I'm cheap and their lingerie is actually surprisingly good. And it's really good for photo shoots because it's cheap. So the first thing I got is this black and yellow pair of pants. They were on their own, there wasn't a matching bra in my size. And this is actually too big for me, so what I'm going to do is get these straps and just take them in a little bit. But it was a couple of pounds and I wanted this. I'm going to be doing like a sexy geeky Pikachu cosplay shoot. I figured that would be quite nice. So I've got this pair of underwear. Obviously they're black and yellow and at the back there's all of these straps. that are a little bit loose. I'll fix them up. And I can't wait to shoot in that. The next set of underwear I literally only bought because I don't have a set like this. I just kind of feel like I'm collecting every single colour of underwear I can for photo shoots now. So these are black and pink. This is what the panties look like. Again, they're from Primark. I just thought they were really cute and they're all lace at the back. And then the bra is just kind of typical uh, cheap Primark. It's all just padding. They'll be fine for a shoot. The last set I got are very different from me. They're kind of like a proper stripy, sporty set. I've seen loads of other models shoot in sets like this. And I just thought they'd be really cute to shoot in for something a bit different. Uh, the pants are just kind of like bikini pants and then the top's like a sports bra type thing. There's absolutely no padding so my piercings are going to show through but I think that's going to be really cool. 
Next thing I got was on sale for like three pounds in H&M. I love going into H&M when there's a sale because you can get usually this really weird like stuff for really cheap. I got this, it's so 90s, it's like a proper tank top with a turtleneck and it looks so good. I think I wore it in a recent video that hasn't gone up yet. I think I'm wearing it in a video that will be up soon but oh my god it's really cool and I really like it and it was three pounds so I couldn't say no. Then from Lush I got this sea spray hair mist and this was like stupidly expensive this was like 12 or 13 pounds but I went for it and um, I feel like it's working I'm kind of because I'm trying to really grow my hair out I'm at the stage where I don't want to be using a lot of heat on it that's why it looks like crap by the way because I don't want to like style it today um, but because I'm trying to grow it out and kind of finally get it past my bust, I just don't want to be using too many harsh things on it. I feel like it's helping a little bit. It's a sea salt spray, so basically it's getting rid of like the fresh hair feeling. I hate washing my hair and then not being able to do anything with it. Um, so if I spray this on my hair, it kind of makes it more like day old hair than freshly washed hair. And then the last thing in my bucket is this really cool mobile phone ring light that I got off of Amazon for like seven pounds. I was told to buy it so that I could send better quality pictures. And this has literally changed my life, not even for like private pictures, but for like Instagram and just like pictures in general. Oh, holy crap, I love it. It's just like, it's got free settings. It's like, like that and I use it on my phone. If I'm taking pictures with this camera, I just kind of put it behind here and do something kind of like that, if you can see. I kind of almost want to attach it somewhere on my camera to make my lighting better, because it's not that good. <laughs> I still don't know like what the deal is with my lighting with this new camera. But I like it a lot better than my big soft box over there that I'm not using, because it sucks. But yeah, this is like really cool. It's really changed my life. Now it's time for all the new latex that I got this month. I got a couple of things I'm so excited to show you guys. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about just really quickly because I've done a full video on it and that will be up this Sunday, so a couple of days after this video goes up. And is this Libidex red latex dress. It's like a proper amazing Jessica Rabbit style dress. If you want to see that properly you'll have to watch that video which will be out on Sunday. I wore it as my off catwalk outfit for last torture garden a couple of days ago and it was just amazing. So in love. So the next thing I got I actually won on eBay and I was thinking of using it for the torture garden party but then I got that dress and this just, this just went away so I might wear this for something else. Um, so obviously I've not worn this properly so it's not shined but I got this uh, latex peplum belt. I was a little worried because it said it was a size 8 and I'm usually a size 4 to 6 in latex but it fits really well. It's just like a little peplum belt so if I like show you really badly just now it, it just kind of does that and it's really cute when it's not over my big jumper. Um, but yeah, I was going to wear this to Torch Garden and then I got the red dress and I was like, nope. So I'm going to wear this to shoot or something else. It's really, really cute. Then the last thing I got was actually a gift I took part in, Zara DeRose's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome party. I was part of the fashion show catwalk for excess latex. If you follow me on Facebook or on Instagram, you're probably sick to death of all the pictures I've been posting from it. Just, just all the pictures that the photographer took were just so good. Um, I got featured by Latex Fashion TV, that video should be out soon. But oh my gosh, it was so good and at the end of it, at the end of it, the woman from Excess Latex gave us all little latex flowers as little free presents for taking part in her fashion show. I chose this purple one because it reminds me of some very nice things and purple is one of my favourite colours. These are so adorable, this is kind of all what excess latex does, like crazy flowers and stuff. Um, and it's got this little loop here so what I can do is I can wear it like as a ring. Um, because I've got such small wrists I can sort of push it and wear it as like a bracelet though it's kind of uncomfortable and that's not really what it's for. I can also put it in my hair and attach it with curvy grips and then I can attach it to all sorts of outfits all over the place, it's really cool. Um, 
I could put it pretty much anywhere. I love it, it's so cute. You should really check out excess latex because their stuff is amazing. But yeah, that's everything I got this month. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye bye.